Lights in the wall, looking for a bad one. Tank full of gas, cuz I thought I had one. Thinking so. This first exercise is just a very traditional strength exercise that, that he really loves, just the basic incline dumbbell press because it helps him maintain his strength levels throughout the season. This next exercise is the hanging leg raise. It's a great way to strengthen the core. It's another great exercise. A reverse lunge with dumbbell counterbalance to strengthen his legs, hamstrings, quads, groin, and the dumbbells obviously provide counterbalance and uh, help work his shoulders and core as well. This next exercise is a single leg RDL. Uh, we use this movement to strengthen his hamstrings, also provide a, a good balance exercise for his ankle. This next exercise is an X-Man walk. Just again, another great core exercise to help strengthen his lower leg, his hips, and ankle. Hey man, look at that! My bad. This DJ ain't get paid enough. <laughs> What's up, Bull fans? This is D Rose, and I'm finna show you my home away from home. This right here is where we work out at. I don't lift that much, but they make sure I come in here at least one time a week, two out twice a week. It seems like Keith is always in here, man. <laughs> but the biggest gym around the team, I think Omer. I'm going with Omer. Omer went a whole summer without a break. We got a legend in the pool right now, Randy Brown, up and out working out. I did get in there one time I got injured and I really couldn't walk and they had me in the pool doing a lot of exercises, so. That's about it. We go up in here in the training room. We got booze, T knock, brew, from Dirty South, Fred, and Wild CJ. Zero. <laughs> I don't really get that much treatment after practice, but before games, every game, getting stretched. So the more years you've been in the league, the more you got to stretch. Look, we're, we're looking to sweep you guys. You wanted us. You were crying out that you bypassed the, the harder team in Miami. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Roche came down bad on his left foot. See him holding onto his knee, holding onto his knee and down. I'm back at zero again and starting back over. I never had a base working on my upper body strength working on my balance, working on my core. Now we know we're getting closer. It's definitely been tough, but I'll be all right. I know it's going to help me in the long run. Um, these things I never learned before, where I used to just go out there and just hoop, just learn how to march again, walk, run, all that stuff. I'm just trying to get healthy. That's my biggest thing, get my body together, rebuilding my whole body, and have a lot of confidence in myself and see where it takes me. It's just a blessing, uh, a real blessing to see that this injury can't stop me. I try to break everything down as simple as possible. When I'm working out, I always say, if it's painful, see how long you can go through it. Because a normal person will stop right when they feel pain. I try to see how long I can go through it because I try to make myself different than other people. I'm good right now. Um, I started running. That was my first time running. And I'm just trying to get healthy. That's my biggest thing, getting my body together, rebuilding my whole body. And just have a lot of confidence in myself and see where it takes me. That was on 18. Um, Rain is actually a guy that hooked me up with Ant because he said I needed to get stronger and more explosive and everything. And, you know, Ant, he treated me then how he does now. Like, that's how he is with everybody. You know, he push you real hard and 
Um, he talked to you like you're an adult. When I was in the ninth grade, he talked to me like I was an adult, using all those words and explaining it exactly how he would explain it to anybody. Um, I think just the, the fact that they pushed me so hard and they didn't, you know, they didn't care if I liked it or not. Um, I started to expect that from everybody. So when I went to school, I expected my coaches to, you know, act crazy and push me hard. And I knew that, you know, when, when you expect it from yourself and then the people that's coaching you or working you out, when they demand it from you, um, that's how you get better, make strides towards getting to wherever you want to be. Basically going from A to B quickly, because I think the game is about straight ahead speed primarily. Also doing some cutting drills so he can change directions faster. The reason I trained him out here, I think because they do a lot of, their joints take a lot of pounding on the court. So this stuff is sort of giving, so we can do those same drills out here. Plus it's a little harder, because it grabs your feet, so when you get to the court, it should be a lot easier, you should move quicker. I think the training environment should be maybe a little harder than the actual playing environment. So that's kind of the philosophy. It was cool, man. the eccentric so when you're coming down these bands are pulling so you got to fight that on the way up you're stronger going up so it resists that so you get more work in eccentric and concentric we'll go not all the way up but see where the cones come across so we got two in a row just go around the cones s's up to the side cones Go, come on, come on. Back. Come on, come on, all the way up, all the way up. Who thought of this today, Tony? You? Let me show my tattoos. Come on, tattoo guys, let's go. You know, I use Russell as somebody that can push me while we're working out. We can push each other to help us both get better. In turn, it's gonna help our team get better. We're gonna do a little suicide. We're gonna go up to that one. Mm -hmm. When it comes across the one that's leaning towards us, then the next one down, and the next one down. Here we go, ready? Come no, on. come on. Russell thought it'd be a great idea for us to uh, work on our explosiveness and quickness. Of course, I will never be as explosive and quick as Russell. We're like brothers, and I'm just blessed to have somebody like that to rely on and, and play with. Brothers fight, brothers, you know, we, we love each other and we support each other. You used to do this when you were in high school? Hell yeah, yeah. Used to come here all the time, me and my brother. My mama used to be walking the steps, and we'd just be running up and down. Nobody get tired when you're younger. You know, I've been with them for uh, six years, and uh, we went through some tough times early on as a team. Uh, but we, we got through that, and you know, we continue to just keep growing. And everybody who comes in, uh, look at me and Russ as the leaders. Hi, I'm Mike Rayfeld. I'm the strength and conditioning coach for men's basketball here at University of Cincinnati. This is my fourth season, upcoming season here with the University of Cincinnati. The biggest fear, especially for basketball players, is if they put on weight, 
Um, what I found is if a player gains weight, if it's good weight, it's muscle mass, they can apply more force into the ground, which will give them bigger verticals. So for example, this year, Octavius Ellis, um, and this is his first full off season with me too, last year's short, came in um, later in the summer. He played about 118 last year, he's about 235 now. Um, he touched all time high, he hit 12-2 uh, on the max vert touch. Um, which is pretty good. Anyone over 12 is pretty elite. But Gary Clark is another one that had a big off season. Um, his goal was ne not necessarily to get bigger and stronger, but to work on his footwork and his conditioning. Um, we have a pretty strenuous conditioning test we run the guys through, and they all need to pass. Yeah, Gary's never passed that. We had a short off season with him last year, coming as a freshman. This year, he had a full off season. He was able to pass that this year. We have some hungry freshmen that really want to. Um, get better, so it always makes my job a lot easier. Um, and they and they are starting to see the results of the hard work. The first thing when the freshmen come in here is a lot of them at a high school level never strain train, or if they have, it's it's a really um, you know they might have bench press a little bit, get some biceps and whatnot, but they're not uh, all encompassing program like we have here at UC. So. Those are some of the guys that see the biggest results. We had, we had a few guys that had some really good results. Um, Kevin Johnson, for one, he had a really good off season. Um, he's gained about 20 pounds uh, last year. As he actually came in as a freshman, he was about 158, 160, he's about 180 pounds now. Um, he had all time best in his bench press test, his vertical testing, Shaq Thomas. Uh, since his freshman year, he's put on about 36 pounds. He is 174 pounds coming in. He's going to play at 210 pounds, a consistent 210 pounds this year. And he touched 12.35, which is all-time PR for him. I like trying to keep the program at cutting edge. So something, some things that we brought here is uh, we have these something called gym awares. It's something that measures bar, spe bar speed. Um, it gives players exact feedback on uh, where the bar is going. It's on an iPad, so they can plug it in. It tracks all the information. Obviously, like I travel with the team. I'm with these guys all the time. Um, build close personal relationships with them as a coach-player relationship. So for me, I'm highly invested in each athlete. So I want to see that. I want to see us win. I want to see them do great as individuals. I want to see them grow as men.